Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about personal finance and investments. One of the things that I've been covering in this channel is a lot about being an Airbnb host. Now in today's video, it's still going to be a little bit about Airbnb hosting, but this video is really made for foreigners who are traveling to the Philippines and are staying in an Airbnb. And yes, foreigners would include Balikbayan Filipinos, I guess I'm gonna try to speak on behalf of other Airbnb Philippine hosts since what I'll share today would be setting the proper expectations so that you, as a foreign traveler, have the right mindset and the right expectation and how our homes are set up quite differently when comparing it to Airbnbs and homes from abroad. Let's go! So there are three things that set a Philippine home or a Philippine Airbnb quite differently from your home abroad. Well, number one here would be our water heaters for our showers. So the Philippines, as you know, is a warm, tropical country. So typically, water heaters are limited to the shower area and the heating appliance is right there, right beside the shower. This is completely safe. This is how we do water heaters here in the Philippines. And I know in your home abroad, you can just move your nozzle to the left or to the right but our shower heaters work a little differently and you would have a separate nozzle there first to control the volume of the water flow and second would be to control the heating so it's usually a knob that you can turn clockwise or counterclockwise and sometimes it's a switch these appliances actually differ per brand maker with different specs but generally that's how our water heaters work a little differently so moving on to number two Going back to the main point that the Philippines is a warm country, comforters are actually not the de facto standard in most homes. Now, comforters might be the standard in hotels, and maybe that's what you can expect from a place that has central air conditioning and all the bells and whistles of a multi-star hotel. But remember, Airbnbs are just really our personal homes. So personally for me, I also did not grow up having used a comforter even with air conditioning, I think our homes are generally not cold enough to be having comforters as a default. I'm not ruling out comforters altogether. In fact, there are many Airbnb hosts that do offer a duvet or a comforter. But I'm just letting you know that it's not the default. So if you're looking for a comforter, best ask your host first, perhaps before booking or maybe before you start your stay. Perhaps you could request from one from your host if they have a comforter, but please don't expect this as the default. And number three, perhaps the most glaringly different thing about Airbnb homes would be our internet speed. With my years of experience as an Airbnb host, the internet connection speed has always been one of the sour points. Sometimes a decent speed of 10 Mbps, I know pales in comparison to what you guys get from abroad. So when booking your Airbnb here in the Philippines, if internet connection is vital to you, please make sure to double check on the amenities list. Airbnb now has a feature, it has its own internal speed test. So for my own listings, I have one listed at only 2 Mbps, while the fastest one is at about 20 Mbps. So if you're a guest, check with the host what kind of internet speed he offers his guests. Also check on the amenities list if the host is using a broadband Wi-Fi or just a pocket Wi-Fi because there is really a big difference. Just as I mentioned in my previous videos, all the things that you can expect from an Airbnb listing are actually there on the amenities list and descriptions. And I personally think it's just fair to expect from the Airbnb home just what's listed. Anything that's not on the list is perhaps an add-on or something that's not to be expected from your Airbnb. I hope that these guidelines will help manage your expectations. Again, the beauty of Airbnb is really staying at a place where locals would dwell. So it's not a standard box that are similar to hotels. I myself have used Airbnb throughout the world. I know that Airbnbs will not be perfect. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of a hotel, but it's a home. It's a place that your own host has probably lived in or continues to live in while not feature rich and maybe a lot different from your home abroad or hotels, what Airbnb promises is really that localized feel. 
What do you think guys? How have your Airbnb experiences been? If you're a local Airbnb host and can relate to my experience, let me know in the comment section. If you're watching this from abroad and you're also an Airbnb host, let me know the local things that are quite different about your homes in your own country. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys again next time.